Here, I'm going to solve this system with three equations and three unknown values, and I'm going to do so using Kramer's rule. So the first thing I'm going to do is to ensure that each of my equations is in standard form. So x, y, z equals a number, and in fact they are. So the next thing I want to look at is to write my coefficient matrix and find its determinant. So I'm going to call that determinant d, and I know that this determinant is going to keep coming back over and over again because each of my solutions for x, y, and z will be fractions, and the denominator of each will actually be this determinant I'm about to find. So my coefficient matrix is going to be a 3 by 3 because I have three equations and three unknown values. So I'm going to write all the x coefficients in the first column, y in the second column, and z in the third column. So I'm just taking the straight from the equation, and then 1, 5, and 2 for my y's, and here are my z's right there. So this is what this determinant is going to look like, and in, in order to evaluate this determinant, I'm going to copy down the first two columns over to the right of my determinant, and I'm going to use the diagonal process here. So these main diagonals will be multiplied and added. So 3 times 5 times 1 will be 15. And then 1 times 4 times 3 will be 12. And I'm adding these. And negative 1 times negative 2 times 2 will be a positive 4. Okay, so my minor diagonals here will be subtracted. So 3 times 5 times negative 1, that's going to be a negative 15 minus 2 times 4 times 3, which is 24, minus 1 times negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. So now it's just a matter of kind of simplifying this. So 15 and 12 and 4, those will add up to make 31, and they're going to say plus 15 minus 24 plus 2. And when I do that, I believe I'm going to get 24 out of this for my determinant. So this 24 is the determinant of my coefficient matrix, and this is going to keep coming back over and over again. Okay. So in order to find my x's, I have a nice equation here. So my x's are going to be another determinant in the numerator, and then this determinant in the denominator, which I've already found, so I'm just going to go ahead and write that 24. So what happens here is I'm going to take this coefficient matrix, but since I'm solving for x, instead of using the x column, I'm going to use my constant values over here on the right. So I'm going to replace my x column with my constants, and then the rest of my coefficient matrix stays the same. Okay, and it's the same thing when I do this. I'm going to copy down these first two columns. Okay, and I'm going to work this determinant by diagonals. So this 0 times 5 times 1 just zeroes out. 1 times 4 times 1 will be 4. And then negative 1, negative uh, 1, and 2 will be a 2, so positive 2. And I'm going to subtract my minor ones here, so subtract a negative 5. That one will zero out, and I'm going to subtract a negative 1 right there. Okay, so what I get for this is going to be 6 plus 5 plus 1 equals 12 for my numerator. So my x value then becomes 12 over 24, which reduces to 1 half. So my x value is going to be 1 half. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down my equation here. I wrote it in a separate piece so I can kind of drag it around. So I'm going to look for my y value next. And my y value, again, will be a determinant in the numerator with this 24 in the denominator. So the numerator is going to be my coefficient matrix, but instead of using my y column, since I'm solving for y, I'm going to replace my y's with this constant column. So my th 3, negative 2, and 3, my y's will be replaced with these values, and then my x, oh, I'm sorry, my z's will just come on down right here. 
So once again, I'm going to copy down this first column. First two columns there. And so now I'm going to use my diagonals to uh, evaluate the determinant of the numerator. So 3 times negative 1 times 1 will be negative 3. Plus, and that guy zeroes out. And this guy is going to be a positive 2. So minus, looks like I'm going to subtract a positive 3 minus a 12, minus, well, 0. So that just zeroes out right there. So this will be a negative 3 plus 2 minus 3 minus 12. So that value right there is going to end up being, what, a negative 1, negative 4, negative 16. So my y value then is going to be a negative 16 over that 24 which will be negative two-thirds. Okay, so let's continue on for my z. I'm going to go ahead and drag my uh, system down with us. So for my value of z, I'm going to have 24 in the denominator again. My numerator is going to be my coefficient matrix copied, but again this time, since I'm solving for z, instead of my z column, I'm going to put my constants here. So my x's come down, my y's come down, and my z's are now going to be replaced with these constants. Okay, to now uh, evaluate this determinant, I'm going to go ahead and copy down the first two rows here, and then work my diagonals again. Okay, so here 3 and 5 and 1 will be 15, plus looks like a negative 3 plus, and that guy zeroes out. So minus, looks like that guy zeroes out, so minus here, a 2 and that be a negative 6, and minus what looks to be a negative 2. So, we've got 12 plus 6 plus 2, and that should be 20 for the numerator of my z value. So when I move over here, it should be 20 over that denominator of 24, which will be 5 sixths for my value of z. So now I can go ahead, since I have all three values, x, y, and z, and I'm going to go ahead and write these as an ordered triplet, where my x comes first, then my y, and then my z. So here is my solution for this original system of equations, and we solve this using Kramer's rule.